What's up guys, Big Mets here. We got Big Mets' tip of the week back at you this week with another awesome tip. And this week what we are talking about is what to bring with you when you go on a bike ride. And there's a lot of things happening when you go on a bike ride and sometimes you don't even know what to bring. So the today we're gonna cover the key basics of the things that are absolute essentials when you're out there on the road. And the first thing that starts with is your flat kit because inherently if you ride bikes out on the road, you're likely gonna get a flat at some point. Um, and so you wanna be prepared for that. So the first thing that I have is this little saddlebag here. It's made by Castelli. Um, other companies make them. This one's really great though. Uh, and this just sits right under your saddle. And in here, I'll keep all of the essentials that I'm gonna need in order to change a flat tire. And when you actually get a flat tire, it's not the tire on the outside that flats. Uh, the puncture goes through that, but it's the tube on the inside that flats. And that's what this is. They're about five or 10 bucks at your local bike shop or you can get them online. And so you're gonna need this in order to change uh, out the flat inner tube. And then the next thing you're gonna need is one of these nifty little tire irons here because it's impossible to take the tire off of the rim uh, with your two hands. So you're gonna need one of these irons in order to pry that tire off and then feed the new inner tube inside. Uh, so you're gonna need one of these, also local bike shop or online for pretty cheap. The third thing is you're gonna need a way to reinflate the tire once you get it all sorted out. Uh, so the two things that I have here, first up is a uh, CO2 adapter. This is just uh, CO2. This is compressed air in here. And uh, yeah, these are maybe five or 10 bucks at your local bike shop. And right here, I've got the adapter. So if I uh, were to get a flat tire on the road, I fix the inner tube, um, I would put this CO2 into the adapter and then this would push compressed air into that inner tube and reinflate the tire in a matter of seconds um, rather than uh, the other option would be to pump it up with a hand pump which sometimes they can make small ones like this, but uh, this is way easier and faster. Um, and it's obviously not feasible to uh, carry around a big floor pump with you when you're going out on a bike ride. So this is a single use cartridge here and this adapter here is multi-use. So yeah, I'd pick up four or five of these and just have them on hand. And then uh, yeah, you just need one of these and should be go for, good to go for a couple years. Uh, so that's pretty much what you need to get a flat tire. Another key essential when it comes to bike tools is this little multi-tool right here. And this multi-tool is essential if you have a quick release on your bike um, or if you have a through axle on your bike because the through axle requires a six millimeter uh, wrench in order to get it out and these multi-tools typically have that. So you'll use this to unscrew the, the, quick, the through axle, pull the, t uh, the wheel out and then you'll be able to work on the tire. If you've got a quick release, then that's pretty easy. You don't need one of these. You just pop the quick release open, the wheel should fall right out. But this is also great to have because on a bike, there's a lot of different mechanical parts, little bolts and stuff, and uh, bikes have a tendency to rattle loose sometimes, depending on what terrain you're on, and just generally over time. So having one of these guys is key because you can tighten down those bolts if anything comes loose, and uh, it's always just a good thing to have in your pocket. So that's pretty much what you're gonna need to change a flat tire. Next up here is going to be what I actually have in my pockets. And I've got this essential little bag here. And this is key because it keeps all of my, uh, the stuff that I need. I've got my keys in here and then I'll dump it out. And inside here, I've got uh, a credit card. Credit card's key because if you go to the shop and you wanna buy yourself a little snack, you're gonna need one of those. But not all shops take cards. So I also have a $20 bill in here. And this also comes in handy if you were to absolutely cut your tire, you can use this $20 bill as a little patch inside the tire. Um, so a key to have, doesn't need to be a 20, probably don't want it to be a 100, but somewhere between maybe a, a five and $20 bill, it could be multi-purpose, whether you get a flat or you need to buy something at the store. Um, the last little thing I have in here is gonna be a little cell battery. This, use, this is used to change many heart rate monitors and uh, power meters. So I always just carry one of these with me because I like to have my data. And then I keep it all in this little pouch. So if it rains, nothing gets wet and uh, it's all organized in one place. So you don't have a million things flying around in your jersey pocket. So that's pretty much what's in there. Also on top of that, I'll always have some sort of fuel source. Um, in this case, it might be a banana. Sometimes it's a bar or a gel or some other type of quick sugar in order to make sure that I'm feeling good and, and keep it going. And then on my bike, I typically will have at least two of these bottles uh, planted somewhere on the bike, whether that's on the down tube or behind the saddle. And in here, I'll have some sort of energy mix. Um, if I'm really having a long, hard day, I might put some Coke in here. But yeah, generally these are an awesome thing to have. You wanna stay hydrated and fueled up for your bike adventures. So that's pretty much the essentials in terms of what you're gonna need if you're headed out on the road. Uh, hopefully you picked up some new information. And if you're a seasoned guy, maybe this is just a reminder that you gotta bring these things all the time. All right, well, hopefully I was helpful. Big Mets' tip of the week, what to bring with you on a bike ride. We'll catch you in the next one.